Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today we're going to do just a little mini perfume haul. I love watching perfume hauls or just layering combination videos. I'm kind of always adding to that wish list, and I was on the hunt for a perfume with a watermelon note. So um, I had a couple on my list. I've checked my TJ Maxx, I've checked Marshalls. The ones in my area just look like the store shelves have never been stocked that someone just is able to go through on a holy terror and put their finger in all the makeup. I don't really know what's going on there. Unfortunately, when I go to another area, I'm definitely going to check out someone else's TJ Maxx because there's always really good finds to be had. But mine, never, never, ever, ever. Like I never find the things that everyone's finding at my store. So that's okay. Um, but every once in a while, I'll find something that wasn't damaged. And I think to myself, like it must have just been put on the shelf like five seconds ago and I snatch it up. So I went ahead and looked on FragranceNet. Now FragranceNet, I'm not sure if you're aware, they have a lot of older perfumes. They have some new stuff too, but it's quite discounted. And then you can add like a 30% code and I find it to be pretty reasonable. So I picked up all four of these perfumes for around $100. It could have been a little bit more with, um, I think maybe between 100 and 120, somewhere in there. So again, you know, they're all different sizes. Um, you have to kind of take what you can get. They actually do testers on there. So it would be one that would be sent to a store normally. So I might be missing like the fancy cap or whatever, but you get a discount. So it just depends on what you are totally cool with. But I do like using that site from time to time to find perfumes that are older that I still want to try that I see my friends in here hauling. So I did go on there because I had a recommendation from one of you guys for a perfume with a wonderful watermelon note. And then I wanted one that I saw my friend here, Kayla, just Kayla Michelle. She does the most aesthetically pleasing photos on Instagram, but also the most amazing combos on her channel. And she had found this, I think at a TJ or a Marshall, somewhere like that. And I just was like, that is a perfume that was made for me. So we're going to get into all of that. I'm going to share the set notes with you. I grabbed some little cards or just post-it notes that way because I'm already wearing some stuff. So, you know, we can talk about the set notes. So the first one is a giant bottle. This was one, I have two impulse buys and two that I was actually checking off my wish list. It happens to me. This is the Viva La Juicy Pink Couture. And I'm going to tell you, I did pick up three Viva La Juicy perfumes. They're not my favorite, but they do tend to have a nice fruity floral, um, you know, heavy on the fruit, which you guys know is one of my favorite categories of scent. So um, I don't collect them by any means, but these are the ones that spoke to me on this particular purchase. So I grabbed the 3.4. This was the only one available. Here's the cute box. Like I said, I just thought I would share with you, you know, what it looks like in every way in case you see this in one of your discount stores. Um, but again, I would have rather had a smaller one, like a one ounce or 1.7, but this is all that they had. Um, and so here's the bottle. Now, some Juicy Couture perfumes are the cutest and some are a little bit, I don't know if it's just the size, but um, this one looks a little <laughs> gaudy, I think, with the gold, but it's still cute. There are bows everywhere. It's got the Juicy Couture thing in the middle there. Just not my favorite. Maybe it's just because it's such a giant bottle. I'm like, this is going to be so obnoxious on my dresser. However, let's talk about the scent notes. So this has scent notes. It's described as a fruity floral. It is top notes of watermelon, water lily, cassis, and quince, mid notes of strawberry and jasmine, and base notes of vanilla, praline, and sandalwood. That just sounded so up my alley. I was like, I got to try this one. So I went ahead and committed with the 3.4 committed. And so let's give it a sniff. Um, I did unwrap all of these, but I haven't sprayed them. Um, I basically just like made sure they're all unbroken. Um, I had a crazy couple of weeks, which I'll tell you guys in a future video, but, um, I have just been like, if I bought something, just setting it to the side. So I wish I would have, you know, been more in touch my videos, but luckily I film ahead. So I was prepared for said crisis, but Mmm, this smells so good. You guys, I'm not even kidding. So I definitely can pick up the sweet floral. I I think I can get the watermelon, or is it more strawberry? There's definitely a fruit forward, but it's the jasmine super strong, um, vanilla and the praline and the sandalwood, but I like it. I just, I don't get a heavy watermelon. I thought maybe this would be the heavy, because it was like the first note. I was like, ooh, there's one with watermelon, but there's definitely a fruitiness to it. It neither leans 
strawberry or watermelon. It's just a sweet fruit. And then the jasmine's pretty, the vanilla and the praline. Ooh, I'm going to like this one. So I guess it's okay that I got the big mama there. All right. The next perfume was the perfume that my friend Kayla had hauled. And this was one of the reasons I was on the site making a purchase. So I grabbed a Viva La Juicy La Bubbly. I think she had found this in one of her stores. And I was like, I really, really wanted this one. Um, it's super cute. Look at the box. It's got little bubbles that you can feel like textured. This is the one ounce. Again, that's what I try to pick up because if you have more than like five perfumes, you have a lot. And so I was like, I don't need to get the big ones unless it's literally something I can't. And you know, everything looks a little messed up. Isn't that the cutest bottle? Look at the little bubble on the bottom. And again, the bow is cute. And like I said, this one's super cute. I don't know why this one being so large just makes me think like, whoa, but that's all right. That's all right. We're going to just see how it smells. So that is that card. This has sent notes of champagne, wild berry, blood orange, which definitely made me think champagne toast in a perfume. Um, gardenia, vanilla orchid for the mid, and then base of praline, amber, and woodsy notes. So this one was not described as like a fruity, fruit, fruity, fruity floral, um, but I kind of, that's the vibe I was going to get. So I was like, well, we'll see. Let's just smell it. Mm, yeah, right off the top, I smell like a champagne toast with more. Yeah, so it's definitely got the the top notes you're getting are the champagne and the orange and the berries. But it definitely has a presence of a floral and a woodsiness. So I get where they're going with this and I actually really like it. So this would pair really well with your bubbly rosé, your champagne toast. So that's exciting. And again, I love those scents. You guys know I talk about them all the time. So I was really excited to pick that one up. That was on my list because I was like, that just sounded like a me perfume. So the next one, again, another Juicy Couture. This, I was on that page and then they just kept, you know, showing me new ones and they were reasonably priced. And then they had set notes I was interested in. So this is the Juicy Couture Malibu. This is the 1.3 ounce. There's the box. It's just kind of there was a couple in this bottle style, so I was assuming it was like a collection that they did. Again, I don't know when they put out anything. I'm just not like that about perfume, but here's the bottle. It's got like a little ring on it, kind of cute. I don't know if people wear them or if it's just for bottle decoration, but it didn't even look like a bigger than a one ounce bottle. I thought it was nice and sleek and small. Um, this has notes top of passion fruit, watermelon, green apple, and black currant. Uh, mid notes of jasmine, tuberose, and water lily, and then base notes of tiara flower, musk, and woodsy note. I was going to take this perfume out of my cart, um, but this was the most inexpensive perfume uh, because I felt like I got the watermelon from the first one. And, um, you know, but I was kind of interested in having more fruity perfumes for, for summer. So again, let's see what this smells like. So it's, you know, passion fruit, watermelon, green apple, black currant, jasmine. So I'm feeling like it's going to be another fruity floral. Um, let's see. Hmm. It's really floral. It's not bad though. It's sweet. It's a sweet floral. I wouldn't say fruity floral as much as I would say like a sweet floral. So maybe the fruit just gives it like a sweetness instead of like a fruitiness. We'll see. I'm going to have to wear it on me, obviously. But I'm just mostly getting like the woodsy floral, but not in like an overpowering way. And it's very sweet. So, but I'm not picking up any of the specific fruits. Like I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you what fruit this was. But anyway, so that was kind of an impulse buy, but it's not that big of a deal. So the last one um, is Dolce and Cabana Lampertrice. Lampertrice. So one of you had recommended this to me when I was talking about wanting a watermelon perfume. So this was the other one I was planning to buy. So two planned, two imper impulse, imperch, impulse purchases. So that's not too bad. I mean, I has been a little bit since I've hauled perfume Christmas, so three months. Um, but anyway, so I grabbed the 1.6 ounce. Here is the bottle. No fuss here, but it's just got like a little top like that. And let's talk about the scent notes because this was one I was really, really excited to get. So this has notes of kiwi, rhubarb, pink pepper, watermelon, jasmine, lemon tree, musk, and sandalwood. So this was the um I can't remember. I'm so sorry which one of you had recommended it. I'm really bad about that. But we were chatting and you said this was very unique and it had a nice watermelon scent. And I have to say, this is very unique. 
Like, I know what rhubarb smells like because, like, where I'm from, everyone grows it in their backyard, basically. And that, that I get the pink pepper. Very similar to that pink pepper note that was in the uh, Wicked Vanilla Woods. How it stands out, but it's not, like, pepper. It's just, like, something spicy. And then I do get, like, the jasmine and the lemon and the musk. So, but it's, like, overall drying down into a nice watermelon scent. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit more. I wonder how this is going to smell on my skin because it's not leaning fruity or floral. Kind of more of like a, I won't even say clean, but like a fresh scented perfume. I like it, but I've got to put it on me, not just the card. But that was my last one. So I was really excited about picking those up. So let me know down below. Have you found any new perfumes? Do you guys have the TJ Maxx that everybody wants to go to, or is your TJ Maxx kind of like mine and you're like not even bothering because every time you go, it looks like a hot mess. Um, and again, if you ever have any recommendations for me, let me know down below because I really do love perfume. And um, thanks to Kayla for always having such an amazing Instagram. So it makes me want everything. Thanks girl. No. Um, but I'm really happy that I found this one. So I'm super happy with all the ones I picked up, but I am liking these two the most um so far so we're gonna just keep playing with them and of course i'll bring them back in a review or a layering video um but i highly recommend following kayla if you aren't already you all probably are but she really does an amazing job of layering the things in her collection so the things i would have never thought of before i'm always commenting that on her videos i'm like i would have never thought of that she takes all of these things that we all love and mixes them together in a way where i'm just like that's brilliant. So she's teaching me. I appreciate her. But yeah, those I was really happy to pick up and I love pretty much everything I grabbed. So thank you guys for watching this. It was a rambly. It's been a little bit since I filmed. Like I said, I was going through it, but it's I'm on the other side of it now. So um, I will be making a few more videos looking a few, little bit like this in all of them. And I'm really excited to just jump back in. Like I said, you guys don't know that because I post a video every day. But that's why I get a little ahead. Sometimes things come up and I'm like, I would be all over the place with my schedule if I didn't do a few videos ahead. So, um, yeah, I have an exciting homework haul to share with you. I'll be putting that up very soon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and leave me a comment down below. Um, if you have any of these perfumes and what you like to pair them with, I would really love to know because I have this collection. I need to use it. Thanks guys. Bye.